Hey guys, HDV here. Now, the brand new Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon trailer has just been released, and of course, the whole Pokemon community is incredibly excited for these two new games. In the trailer, however, it was stated that never before seen Pokemon would be featured in the new Pokemon games, and so obviously, there's quite a high chance that some of these Pokemon will be Alolan Pokemon. Alolan forms of Pokemon are where a Pokemon has had to adapt to its natural surroundings and so over time has changed its typing and design. We currently only have a few of these new forms, with a very high chance of them releasing more in the new games as previously mentioned. With that being said, today's video takes a look at the top 5 new Alolan Pokemon for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Starting things off and claiming the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video is Alolan Lapras. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that for some of the Pokemon on this list, we've already seen their normal form in Pokemon Sun and Moon, such as Lapras. However, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon are set in an alternate universe or in the future, meaning that in the new games, any Pokemon could have a new Alolan form. So now that we've cleared that up, let's get onto Alolan Lapras. Now in every video I've ever mentioned Lapras in, I've always said that it has needed some sort of new evolution. Whether that be a pre-evolution, normal evolution or mega evolution, it just needs something. However, with Alolan forms now being a huge new game mechanic in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, Lapras is the perfect candidate to get one. I could see this new form being either fire or electric, both would be fine with me, but I could just see it making this new form of Lapras amazing in the competitive scene as long as it keeps some of its setup moves such as Dragon Dance. The design for Alolan Lapras would also be amazing too. For example, instead of the shell on its back, it could have fire coming out, similar to the Cyndaquil Evolution line. I think a new form of Lapras would be pretty cool to see in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, and so takes the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video, we have Alolan Onix. Onix's usual typing of rock and ground becomes ice with its new Alolan form. An ice type Onix is no stranger to Pokemon though, as in the anime there was an episode called the Crystal Onix, in which Ash comes across a very unusual Onix. Besides being made of crystal, the Crystal Onix is also unique from other Onix in that it can live in water without being hurt by it. Its glass skin also gives it a special resistance to water type attacks. That being said, Alolan Onyx's new ability could become Water Absorb, or something on the lines of that. This would be pretty cool to see in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, but what could be even better is this Pokemon Shiny form. Just imagine a shiny crystal Onyx. It would look absolutely incredible. Alolan Onyx could even appear in a small ice cave located away from civilization. The cave could even potentially include completely new ice type Pokemon to go along with the new Alolan Pokemon. Needless to say, this would be awesome to see and so, Alolan Onyx takes the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the halfway point in today's top 5 video is Alolan Weezing. Weezing is a huge fan favourite that has been around since the very beginning of Pokemon, making an appearance all the way back in Kanto, so it definitely needs something cool to happen to it. Now people have been wanting Weezing to gain some sort of fire typing for a while now, whether that be through Mega Evolution or a different method, people just want it. So what better way to make it a reality than to give Weezing an Alolan form? Alolan Weezing could keep the ability Levitate, making it absolutely fine against ground type attacks, whilst Weezing already gets access to Flamethrower, which would be a very nice stab attack. Either way, this would be a pretty cool Alolan form to make an appearance in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, and so, 
takes the number 3 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video, we have Alolan Arcanine. Now I understand that we already have the normal Arcanine in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but like previously mentioned, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon are set in an alternate universe or in the future, so any Pokemon can receive an Alolan form. Alolan Arcanine was also seen in the leaks before Sun and Moon came out, so whilst the leaks may not have been true for Sun and Moon for this Pokemon, it could be true for Ultra Sun and Moon. Whether these leaks are fake or not is still yet to be seen, but nonetheless, it would be pretty cool awesome Pokemon if it was true. I'm already a huge fan of this Pokemon in general, so another form of it is always welcome. An ability like Swift Swim would make this Pokemon a huge threat on any rain team. The design would of course look amazing too, and so needless to say, an Alolan Arcanine should definitely make an appearance in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, and so takes the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video. Finishing things off though, and claiming the number 1 spot in today's top 5 video is Alolan Jinx. The fan art I found for this Pokemon makes it look like a hula dancer, obviously fitting for Pokemon Sun and Moon seeing as the games are based in Hawaii. This really makes sense for this Alolan Pokemon, and the fan art really does it justice. Jinx's usual typing of Psychic and Ice turns into Grass, gaining moves such as Petal Dance that really reflect Jinx's new design. Something pretty cool here would be that there is a location in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon that has a really colourful landscape, and the Pokemon that flourish the area are Alolan Jinx and Blossom, seeing as they both would be hula dancers and create an amazing atmosphere. An ability to go with Jinx's new form could be something like Sapsipper or Magic Guard. Either way, I really love the idea of an Alolan Jinx and hope that something like this does happen when Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon are released in November. And so, Alolan Jinx finishes off today's video and claims a number 1 spot. But with that wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I have a couple top 5s coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you have the time. And also subscribe if you like my content. That's everything from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.